my name is uh, Carl Wickland. I'm the R&D manager at Vita Sound Audio. Uh, we're based out of MIP or McMaster Innovation Park in Hamilton, Ontario. The uh, keynote address that I gave, rather than focus strictly on the uh, technical aspects of our you know, core technology, the neural compensator, basically we develop uh, n you know, novel hearing algorithms or uh, speech enhancement algorithms for, for the hearing impaired. Um, so we, we, we have products out right now that are in hearing aids or in consumer level devices like our personal audio enhancer. What I tried to do was really give sort of a bird's eye view of what it's like to work at a high-tech uh, you know, startup you know, or research spin-off company and do this from, uh, say, my perspective. So what I tried to do was sort of explain first a little bit of background about Vitasound, but then you know, how I got involved in uh, research, how I got involved with Vitasound, and subsequently what it's been like to work at a company like Vitasound, both the pros and the cons, a little bit of advice in terms of uh, anyone who's thinking about doing so in terms of how to get themselves involved in it and what they need to think of you know, going forwards in the future. The uh, biggest piece of advice I'd give to somebody who's interested in you know, getting into R&D is, well, first and foremost, be a grad student. Most of these sort of spin-offs is really about being in the right place at the right time. So basically, if you're on a, or if you're, you're on a piece of commercializable research or you're working with people who are doing the same, uh, you're really going to be you know, in a position to know the people, to know what's happening if you are you know, intimately involved in that research uh, process to begin with. But as long as you have the reputation for much of what they need to be done, or what, much, what, much of what needs to be done, um, you're really in the right spot. Um, unfortunately, it's a little bit harder, say, for somebody who's in Mohawk or similar, um, just because they're not really, uh, they have a little, they're at a little bit of a further remove from the uh, R&D side of things. Um, and it's harder to sort of get noticed in that. Um, it's a little bit easier, perhaps, uh, for a later stage startup, because at that point, they're perhaps better financed or have a clear idea of what uh, specific needs they have, um, but at a very early stage spin-off company, it's probably just going to be that you know small core of people who have to try and do everything, and then once they get the financing, they'll start hiring a few more specialized people. Uh, go to uh, www.vitasound.com, it has a full description of our company along with the contact information uh, for us as well.